King's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Carlsbad, Pano Variation, 8.B3RB8. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. The light-squared bishop is getting ready to be Fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This strikes a rival knight. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is the last book move. This wastes a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This permits the opponent to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to pin a knight. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This threatens to win a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. A pawn is therefore left defenseless. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a miss. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. Not the finest, 
this. It is incorrect. It's all right. That's good. This enables the adversary to strike a bishop. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is a miss. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a miss. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Thus, a pawn is lost. This enables the adversary to disclose an attack on a knight. It is incorrect. This poses a knight winning threat. That falls flat. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. This misses a better way to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That falls flat. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A chance to advance a passed pawn towards promotion is lost in this. It is incorrect. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. Recaptures. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is excellent. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. Although the game was almost evenly balanced, white now holds the advantage. That falls flat. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to kick a rook. It is best. By doing this, the chance to double rook on a single file is lost. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. It's all right. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Backs off. White is superior at this point in the end game. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This loses a better opportunity to expand a bishop's range by shifting it to a more advantageous square. It is incorrect. 
a pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. This allows the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is an inaccuracy. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. This enables the adversary to make a pawn attack known. It is incorrect. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This pins a bishop and increases pressure. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This steps away from the checking bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is quite good. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. That's good. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. It's alright. That's good. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. A very strong play. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 